Hey guys, welcome to our very first remote recorder lesson. In this lesson, we're going to cover the basics of the recorder. So let's get started. But before we can talk about the recorder, let's review what we already know about the musical staff. If you have been watching my other music lessons, you're already kind of familiar about the musical staff. But if you haven't, that's okay. We're gonna talk about it together right now. This is a musical staff. It's how we show the pitch of the sound. Sounds can be high and they can be low. And we show them with notes on the staff like this. And we already know that each note has their very own name. Let's talk about them. E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, and it goes on and on repeating that pattern A to G. But it can be really hard to remember what each line and each space is called. So there are two tricks that we use to help remember. Here's how we can remember the lines. Just think about this sentence. Every good boy does fine. Now, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but when you place it on the staff, it begins to show you what I mean. Every good boy does fine. Every begins with the letter E, and that line is E. The next line is G. The line after that is B, D, F, E, G, B, D, F. Every good boy does fine. Does that make sense? I hope so. Now let's talk about the spaces. The spaces are a little bit easier to remember because you just have to remember this word, face. F, A, C, E. And it's kind of easy to remember face because you know, you have one right there. Okay. <laughs> now we also know that notes go below and above the musical staff. We'll start here with middle C. Middle C will always have a line in between it, just like that. But you'll also hear me call it low C when I'm talking about the recorder. Low C, right there, and D. And then our pattern starts over with we're familiar. Every, right? F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, does that make sense? The lines are called E, G, B, D, F. Every good boy does fine. And the spaces are called F, A, C, E. And that spells face. If that doesn't make sense, you can go back and rewatch the video to see if that helps explain it a little bit more. But if you're ready, let's move on to the recorder basics, okay? The first thing we need to talk about is your posture. Your posture is how you are going to sit while holding your instrument. Here is a picture of a student with excellent recorder posture. She is sitting forward, her back is straight, and her feet are flat on the floor. Practice sitting with your recorder just like this. Pause the video if you need to. Sit forward, back straight, and feet flat. If you're ready, let's talk about breathing. It is so important to practice correct breath in your instrument. One way to practice is to hold a tissue or a thin piece of paper in front of your mouth and try to blow on it. Push enough air out of your mouth so that the tissue waves back and forth gently. You don't want it to go so fast like a flag in a super big wind, but you would rather blow too softly than too hard. Practice that for a little bit with a tissue and then try practice that sound in your recorder. If you hear squeaking, you are blowing too hard. A squeak should sound something like this. You need to make sure 
you are holding your body correctly with the right posture and using a gentle, steady breath. Okay, so now that you have your recorder in your hand, let's look at it to see what we notice. Here is a picture of your recorder. This right here is called the mouthpiece. This is called the window. And the entire first part of your recorder is called the head joint. When your recorder arrived in the mail or you picked it up from the store, you notice it comes in three separate pieces. And that first piece is called the head joint with the mouthpiece and the window. The middle piece of the recorder is called the body. And the body is covered in joint holes. Take a second and look at them. The last piece of your recorder is called the foot joint. And you'll notice there are two sets of holes that we call double holes. There is one set of double holes on the body and one set of double holes on the foot joint. Now, here's how you're going to hold your recorder with your hands. Hold your hands like the picture above. And when I hold a number above that finger, I want you to put it down and say the number with me, okay? This first finger on the left hand, we are not going to use, so you can just put it away. But that next finger, we call finger number three. So say the number three and put your finger down, three. The next finger, we call finger two. Say two and put your middle finger down. The next finger is called finger one. Say one and put that finger down. The last finger on your top hand or your left hand is the thumb. So we're gonna say thumb and put that down. This is actually the only thumb we will use. We are not going to use the thumb on your right hand. So you can just put that away. The bottom hand or the right hand on that pointer finger, we also call one. Two, three, four. Take a look at your picture and take a look at your hands for a few seconds. Pause the video if you need to and practice saying the numbers of your fingers. If you're ready, let's talk about which finger covers which hole on the recorder. Your top hand is going to go at the top of the recorder near the head joint. And finger number one and your thumb are going to go opposite each other. Look behind your recorder. You'll see there is a single hole on the back. Your left hand thumb is gonna cover that hole. Your first finger, number one, on the left hand covers the top hole. Does that make sense? The second finger covers the next and the third finger covers the last one. Remember, you are not using that pinky and you're also not going to use the thumb on your right hand, but you will use the first finger, the second finger, the third finger, and the fourth finger. Go ahead and practice covering the holes with all your fingers. You want to make sure that your fingers are curved and the, the meaty part, the fattest part of your finger is covering that hole. Now, cover all the joint holes and the two sets of double holes and blow gently into the recorder with the right posture and breath like we practiced. It should sound something like this. Pause the video if you need to and practice getting that steady sound with no squeaking. When you're ready, take a look. We call this sound you just made middle C or low C from here on out, low C. Now it's your turn. 
For this week's practice, I would like you to practice lifting and lowering your fingers while blowing gently into the recorder. Can you lift up all your fingers up and down without squeaking? That's your goal for this week. I hope you enjoyed our very first remote lesson. I will see you next time. Practice, practice, practice. Goodbye.